Fully aware of your purchase. Congratulations. Um, yeah, I've been talking with Enzo. Um, actually, uh, I got uh, his new radio all set up. He picked up uh, a 101D brand new from Radio World, so we uh, we got that all straightened out for him. But um, yeah, great, uh, great, great radio. Uh, the Kenwood uh, TS990, one of my favorites. Good, uh, good rag chewing machine there, uh, Danny. You're sounding really good on it. Uh, I'm on the actual Kenwood at the moment myself, um, the 990. So uh, beautiful. Uh, Beautiful radio. Um, congrats on the purchase there. Uh, go ahead. Oh, uh, you have a 992. Well, we have something in common, Caesar. We're going to have to pick your brain on a few things at a later date. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, boy, that manual's thick, isn't it? Uh, Enzo was saying, uh, Darlene's not going to see you for a month. You're going to have your, your nose stuck in that book. And uh, he was right. Uh, fortunately, she's very patient. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really... Uh... I, I don't think I, I think I opened the book once I got it and then I kind of just, uh, played around and, um, kind of figured things, uh, figured things along the way there, uh, Denny. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's a little overwhelming in the beginning, but, uh, once you figure out the layout, um, it's, um, it's fairly easy. It's got a good, uh, good layout, uh, as far as getting into the menus and, Everything is pretty well spelled out on the uh, with the buttons, so you don't have to dig too much into the menu if you don't want. Um, but uh, yeah, sounding good. Are you running? Uh, are you running any uh, outboard gear? I think you were running uh, uh, some W2HY with that. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, same audio gear, same mic, the lecture voice. I, I did have to make a few changes to the audio gear. Uh, I do not have the. TXEQ turned on in the radio, obviously. So that's what I'm using. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I did try to uh, plug mic in direct and uh, try the, uh, the you know the graphic equalizer in the radio. My God, uh, I didn't have much success. So I, I just turned the thing off uh, internally and uh, I'm just using the external stuff like I usually do. Well, you sound great. What, what mic in? Are you using EQ Plus on yours as well? Uh, no, I did. I, I was running it at one point. I uh, sold the uh, the W2HY stuff, the EQ Plus. I mean, it worked really well. I mean, as you know, just uh, I needed some more room on the um, on the table here on the desk. So as you know, they uh, they they can take up some room. There. And when I first got the uh, that stuff, I mean, I didn't realize how big it was, but um, they do a really good job. Um, but I am using the RE27 at the moment, so I'm using the same microphone, but I am using some outboard gear. It's more of a rack mount. Um, it's called a VIP digital. Um, so it's like a parametric uh, equalizer. Um, it's got all the, uh, all the modules. Um, you, can, you can put several microphones and several uh, radios to the unit and, um, and set up all your... Uh, your memory profiles. I think you can set up a hundred memory uh, profiles on this thing, but, um, yeah, I figured it's, um, it takes less room. It fits right in the rack there. So, um, I figured I'd, uh, go this route, but the, um, I was using the, uh, the internal equalizer and, and all the, uh, the compressor and stuff. Um, when I first got the radio with the RE27 and, uh, yeah, it took a little while to get get that thing set up uh, straight in, but um, once once you do that, I mean, as you know, there's a few different uh, set uh, profiles: the high boost, low boost. Uh, I mean, and then you can just uh, play around with those and, and uh, tweak it. But um, I think I think the way you got it set up now, I mean, you don't really need to go in the uh, the 20 band equalizer. Sounding really good. Uh, I don't want to hold it up too long. Uh, so back to you, uh, Danny, and then I'm not sure how the, uh, the rotation goes. Uh, VA3OZ, VE3DIG. Yeah, okay, Caesar. Oh, boy, you sound great. It sounds terrific. Yeah, that is quite the uh, internal equalizer in the, in the radio itself. So I, uh, <laughs> I kind of gave up on it for the time being. But every day I learn a few new things uh, about it, you know, some little tweaks here and there. And uh, uh, just having a ball, what a, what a beautiful thing to look at every day. And it's certainly, uh, I'm, I'm in love with it, uh, Caesar. Anyway, I, here's a playback for you, what you sound like to me. Uh, play around with those and, and uh, tweak it, but um, I, think, I think the way you got it set up now, I mean, you don't really need to go in the, uh, 
The 20 band equalizer sounded really good. Uh, I don't want to hold it up. Yeah, how was that recording, uh, Caesar? And have you done that uh, optic cable thing in the back? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. I mean, it came back a nice recording, actually. I, yeah, I did do the op the uh, the optical cable. Um, um, there's a, I guess that you call it a mod. Uh, so I did do that, but I didn't really get a too much uh, time to play with it. Um, so I'm going to have to go into that. Maybe I'm going to have to pick your brain. I think there's some settings uh, for the um, for the microphone gain. I think needs to be changed. Um, I think I tried it once, and uh, things were kind of over, overdriven. So I might have to pick your brain on that. But uh, yeah, I did do that, um, Danny, and it uh, really it works well. I guess. Uh, I mean, I know the uh, the 890 has it built in. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure though. Um, but you figure a, a 990 would have that already uh, part of the uh, part of the options. Um, you know, that 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 kind of. Um, Kind of surprises me that I uh, didn't have that already built in, but it is an older radio. Um, back to you. Yeah, yeah. How, how many years have you had yours? Uh, it's probably been about three, four years now. Um, yeah, I mean, as you know, I have the uh, the seventy eight hundred, which is um, is uh, another one of my. Favorite. I like the big radios, as you can tell, and uh, I think the one hundred one is the newest edition, but. Um, yeah, it's it's a great rig. I mean, it's the central focal point uh, on the uh, shack here. It uh, even if you don't, I just turn it on and and run the other radios just so you can get a little bit of, uh, um, you know, just so you get a nice uh, nice uh, feel uh, environment, uh, uh, Danny. But um, yes, I'll uh, let me pass it over to some of the other guys. I don't want to hold it up, but uh, sounding really good. Um, uh, Vito, go ahead. I'm not sure who else is in there. VA3, VMD, uh, VE3DIG in the group. Yeah, okay, uh, Caesar. Well, I'll, uh, I'll hold off um, flapping my yap and uh, yapping my flap or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, you pass it to me when you're done, and uh, then it goes to Denny. So I guess uh, you guys had your, your kick at the can there. So uh, let me... Um let me throw, let's see if Ben's back. Ben, VA3QK, are you back? Okay, Ken, or Ken, uh, Ben's got his apron on because um, I'm sure the wife's got him mopping the floor, so we'll have to wait for him to come back. And uh, Mark, KD2KT, pick it up. W-A-A-J. Uh Good morning, Caesar. How you doing today? Uh, yeah. Hey guys. You know it's uh, break station. So, uh, let's see. Who's left? V A three D M D. V A three O Z. And V E three C I J G I G. Seven three guys. Take care. We'll talk to you later. K D two K T. Go Q R T. Yeah. Okay. Just quickly before you go, Mark. Did you nudge your V F O? Oh, yeah, just a little bit. Uh, here, let me... Uh, oh, God, there. Uh, there we go. Now we're right back on frequency. Yeah, make sure you're not playing with yourself when you're on the radio, okay? 73, and have a great one. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, 73, guys. Take care.